this is the second installment in the Kissel 1926 brome that we're restoring. What you're looking at here are a series of shots showing the general condition of the top of the vehicle. Most of it's actually quite solid, but you can also see a fair amount of dry rot. Certain pieces are so bad that, yeah, we'll replace the entire piece. A lot of pieces are actually basically solid and have only sections that need to be replaced. Replacements on the car are being done almost entirely with ash, which was originally used by Kissel. However, some of it is oak. This particular shot is an interior shot. doesn't get the color real good, but it does show the neat striped mohair on the seats. So hopefully later on you get some better color for those shots. As Trish is going around giving you more and more of a view, you see, for example, some of the heavy checking on the passenger side top quarter. Those particular metal panels you see, you notice Kissel didn't paint them. We will actually make replications and we will paint them. I don't care if they're covered. There's no reason to leave deterioration like that going under the car. It would be quite common for the manufacturer to not have done that at the time. Top of the car showing the bulb failure and how they have sunk in. Another interior shot giving you the kind of maroon and the brown and black stripe mohair that was in use in the car. Rather interesting interior. Shows that we've got some of the broken pieces on the top of the car. Eventually we'll replace them. The header above the window was actually good, but the visor header piece above it was completely shot. And that's going to be replaced. A little overview showing you the front of the car, a number of things taken out of it. This was actually a running car, just so you know. It was a running car. So it's a fairly easy car to put back into business. Here I'm adding the header blanks, fastening them in, working on that. Those header blanks in this case were made from oak. That's the only oak portion on the front of the car. And you see that partially formed now once it was mounted. Side blanks there, those are actually ash. And you can see a little more forming has gone on. And as we go progress in the video, you'll see a lot more forming. This particular rear section of the driver's side showing you a hand portable planer, which helps me get everything into shape. Easier to do it on the car than try to shape the parts beforehand. And you can see in the stages it looks like, oh my god, it's never going to turn out. No, actually it does. It just takes a while to work it down get it the right way. This happens to be back on the passenger side where you saw a lot of heavy duty checking. And that's being removed. A little bit of chisel work here after I've removed a fair portion of it. And you can see some of it towards the back hasn't even been started yet. And actually right there on that window on that side, I had to remove a whole section behind there. That actually gets replaced. Interior still shots showing around the passenger side door. These are for reference for later, but you can see the colors that were used. A little better on the colors, quite nifty. Combination of green, maroon, and browns, and tan. It's really beautiful, obviously, in the original format. This is the rear seat area. The seat has been removed. It's currently placed under the car so that we could get the area cleaned out. Obviously, there was wrap damage in this car, as well as the fact that we need to actually get to some of the pieces of wood. The driver's side rear quarter has a bad piece of wood all the way down. We will replace the entire piece of wood in that case. Original steering wheel in very good shape. Won't be hard to restore that. You can see we've done a lot of work here that's completed on the driver's side rear quarter. There's the passenger side front by the door. You see that's been completed now. See how that's all formed and blended. This does not mean we've completed the, com the entire side yet on there, but we're working on it. You can see some of the completion on the driver's side there. Here you can see me doing a little bit of work forming. This is a piece that runs vertical on the rear quarter section of the passenger side. Here you can see me fitting it. I don't like the fit because the piece next to my hand is on. We're going to remove that piece in a moment here because I need it out of the way to get the fit better on the vertical. That particular piece is bad anyway. You notice it's actually quite hard to take out even though the piece is not good. The wood below it is so strong still the nails won't even pull out in two of the cases. I'll end up having to have to cut them off. They just literally won't pull out. Back forming that vertical again so that it's actually going to fit beautifully. Remember, throughout this, we're trying to keep as much the original Kissel wood as possible because the car is so solid, except for these little damaged areas. 
Everything is being measured, set, and tried to make the car even side to side, even though in some cases the original Kiss wood isn't, was not even. Remember, it was a hand-built car. Beautiful when they were done, but very hand-built. Like and subscribe. See you later.